Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video and this is the fifth part of Notes application using Firebase. So in this part, we are going to connect our project with Firebase. So I open my Android Studio and you can see this is our project Notes app tutorial. So first of all, I minimize everything from here. So for connecting our project to with Firebase, simply open your Chrome browser. So I open my Chrome browser and simply you have to visit .firebase.google.com and then you have to simply come on to console. So I am already on my console window. My laptop is very slow so it is not possible to show everything to go from website because I run the Camtasia and also Android Studio and also Chrome browser and you, you know these are very heavy, heavy softwares. So it may take cancel the recording. So I sim directly come on the console window. So you can easily come on console window, it is not a big task. Now after coming on console window, you have to simply click on add project. After this, click on add project. Now you have to give any project name. So you can give any name, it is your choice or you can give according to your application. So I simply give the name notes app, notes app tutorial, small p is fine. So now you can see it is fine. Now simply you have to click on continue. After clicking on continue, you can see second step is open. So now again click on continue. Now here you have to select an account. So you have to simply use a default account, default account for Firebase. And now simply click on create project. Now it, you can see the project created in start. So now you can see our new project is ready. Now you have to simply click on continue and it will refresh the window and add our project here you can see this is our notes app tutorial so, so after creating the project on firebase now we have to link our android studio project this project with our firebase so again open chrome browser so you have to click on this android so simply click on this android and now you have to give your package name so here you have to give your packet name. So what is your packet name? You can see this is your packet name. So simply open your any activity. I open my main activity and simply copy this com.example.notesapptutorial. So you have to give your own package name. Be remember this thing. So I control C and then simply control V paste. So here you can see pasting not working. So I have to type it manually. So com.example. Now com.example. Notes app tutorial then semicolon. Notes app tutorial. Then semicolon. So I give the name here com.example dot notes app tutorial. Now you can give any name here to your Android app. So I simply give here notes app. So you don't need to add a semicolon here. Now you leave it blank and now simply click on register app. So now you can see our project is created successfully. Now we have to download this Google services.json file and paste inside our Android Studio. Inside the my project, my application, then inside the SRC folder. So I simply click on download button. So you have to download your own JSON file. So now you can see downloaded start. So now you can see the file downloaded successfully. Now it show Google services 8. So I created lots of project on Firebase. So that's why it's a Google services 8, but don't confuse whether it by default it contain the name google services.json so after downloading this file now we have to copy this file from our download section to inside our android studio so open your file explorer and where your downloads file is stored so i open it now i simply click on downloads so you can see this is our file google services.json so simply click on it then right click then copy after copy simply open your android studio and now where we have to paste the file so you can see this is our path so simply open your project folder then come inside your app folder then in src so simply change android to project now simply expand this now expand your app folder and then simply come inside src and here i have to simply paste the google services.json so here you can see inside our src i have to paste this so right click on src then simply click on paste and now you can see it automatically show a name so i simply delete this extra 8 and extra space so now you have to also give the same name like google dash services dot json now click on refactor and it successfully paste the file here so you can see this is our project id notes app tutorial so i do a little bit mistake i don't have to paste this file here i paste this file inside our app folder so click on it and simply press ctrl plus x to cut this file from here so click on it and uh, simply click on cut 
to cut this file from here and I have to paste inside app folder sorry for this mistake so click on this now right click and then paste then again click on refractor so now our file pasted successfully and now it is ready and our project is successfully con connected with firebase so now click on next now you can leave this at blank and we don't need this and now next and simply click on continue console so you can see here our project is created successfully so click on authentication first now so you can see now we have to click on get started and now inside our application we want email and password authentication so simply click on this pencil icon and then simply click on enable and then save now it is enabled now simply click on cloud firestore we also need a database which is real time database provided by the firebase which is cloud firestore so i click on it and so simply click on create database and start in production mode or you can start in test mode so i simply click on start in test mode and now click on next and then simply click on enable and it will enable the database so here you can see now database is also created successfully and now we can close our chrome browser so the work of the chrome browser is now finished and you can close it so i simply close this so after creating the project on firebase and after linking our project with the firebase so i again come here and inside android and now if we want to use firebase services then we have to add a dependency so for this simply click on tools and now select here firebase so on the right side you can see it open the window so here you can see lots of services provided by the firebase so we need a email and password authentication so click on authentication and so i expand this now click on email and password authentication so you can see it already show an pop up of or you can see it already show an message our project is already connected with firebase so it is the benefit of you connecting the manually connecting the project with firebase simply click on the new project and it is very easy so after connecting you can see it is already connected so now we have to add an add firebase authentication to our app so i click on this so it automatically add this dependency which is firebase auth so click on accept changes so below you can see the grid dependency is set up correctly and the grid will start building so now dependency set up correctly and and the grid will also fin finished so now it is better to if we add also the cloud firestore dependency so i come back and now simply click on firestore click on read and write document with cloud firestore so our project is connected successfully and now you have to simply click on add cloud firestore to app and it automatically add this dependency so click on accept changes so now you can see gradle start building again and after building the gradle now the work of this video is been completed so now you can see the dependency set up correctly so this is over for this video and in this video we simply connect our project with firebase so maybe this video is very small and the next video or you can say the next part of the notes application is also maybe very small because in the next part i will just check whether our project is created successfully or connected with firebase or not so i simply create a new user using our application so maybe our new next video is also going to little bit short but from onwards i try to make big videos and complete try to complete this notes application as soon as possible so thank you for this video if you not like the video simply like the video and subscribe the channel for latest update and share it with your friend thank you see you soon in next video